Hello Behind Lolo Did It, a hand-dyed yarn business based in Central Kentucky. And I'm coming to you live today. Um, I almost canceled. I've got, I've got like this cold. I don't know what's going on. I, I started coming down with it. And now I'm like, uh, I can't hear. So if I'm yelling at you, you know, that I, it's not, it's not anything. It's not a problem with you. It's a problem with me. <laughs> <coughs> so I don't know how long I'll last. I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see how long I get through. Um, usually my YouTube lives aren't very long anyways, but, um, I thought I'd come on anyways. Um, I am at work today and we are finishing up all of the Christmas boxes, which is really fun. And if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, to take a look at your newsletter or Instagram today, uh, I put up the Christmas boxes, just the yarn only, three skeins of surprise colorways, um, I put those up yesterday, last night, and I've got limited quantities. It's only going to be up for a short time, but if you missed out on the Christmas box, this is a really good opportunity to get, uh, the yarn and join in with us, have fun with us, have something fun to open up under the Christmas tree, um, and you, like, have it. So we, I put that up on the shop. If you go to lolodidit.com and click on what's new, you will see that. I saw people comment. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Cindy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, they're really cute. These are colorways, um, blue suede shoes, hello gorgeous, and angry rhino. So I had somebody um, make those for me a while ago, a long time ago. And they're, they've been hanging up in my office ever since. Um, so, yeah. So the Christmas boxes, if you missed out, if you have FOMO, go get the yarn only uh, Christmas boxes. Hi, Linda. And have fun with us and join in. Definitely want you to get the yarn. And we're, we're finishing up the boxes and the... Um, the yarn only would ship next. So we're, we'll finish up the, all of the boxes. So if you ordered a box, they ship between December 6th through the 17th, I believe. Um, so they're not shipping yet. They're starting to ship next week. So they're, um, we'll have them all shipping out and then we will start on the yarn only packages. So just keep an eye on that. It's really fun. So I'll start with what I have been knitting. So I knit... Um, during the Thanksgiving weekend, I knit my Putney sweater, but it still just kind of looks like a rectangle. Uh, it's the shoulders. It doesn't look like anything. So I didn't bring it, but that is the Putney sweater by Amy Loudon, who is Taylor S Studios. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got, I'm coming down with something. Um, so that has been so much fun. I love the construction of that sweater. And I've very much enjoyed knitting it. I'm knitting it out of Divine Yak on my colorway Ice Ice Baby. It's awesome. The other thing that's on my needles that I've been knitting that I thought I'd show you is a new pattern that I'd like to come out with for Christmas. Now, this all depends on can I get the pattern done and can I get test knitters to knit it in time to release it for Christmas. But I'm calling it my garland sock right now. And let's see if I actually get it done. Hi, Jen. So this is a faux cable down one side and it's different. The pattern is different depending on which um, sock you're knitting. Really pretty. This is my colorway Sugar Plum, which is a new Christmas colorway this year. And then the heel also has these faux cables. Hi, Kelly. These are faux cables down the heel. So that's also fun. So you'll get, you got cable, 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 but they're all faux cables. They're really easy. You don't have to use any, you know, this is just increases and decreases. And um, so that is, thank you. So this is Ow I Feel Good. That's the tonal color that I'm using. So that's my goal is to get, if I get one sock done, then I can um, finish up the pattern and have test dinners in it and hopefully release it for Christmas. So that's that's my plan, that's what I wanna do. But you can get this yarn, Sugar Plum, and How I Feel Good on my shop right now. So if this is something that you do wanna cast down for Christmas, um, you gotta start thinking about ordering it because I think our last day for shipping is like December 15th or something like that. It's like 
it's our, our 18th. I think it's really early because Christmas is on a Sunday. So, and we're usually off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's like earlier than that for our last day of shipping. So, um, yeah, so make sure to order this if you want it. So that's my garland socks. And so that's my goal is to get those done. I bought a new set of signature needles. So I've been using those. Love them. Super cute. Love it. Did anybody else pop in? Thanks, everybody. Everybody likes my sock. Thank you so much. Um, so we also have, um, let's see, what else am I doing? I've got a whole list of stuff list of things. So my um, test knit for Flurry the Snowman, have you guys seen this going on? I have been posting on Instagram and test knitters have been posting in the Lolo Did It community and also on social media, but Flurry the Snowman is going to release on December 9th. Test knitters are amazing. They are doing, everybody's making the snowman their own, which is really fun. I think like as a uh, pattern writer, like I have a vision, right? I have, this is what I want it to look like. And then you guys are just making it your own and being super creative with the hats and the scarves and the eyes. And a lot of people put like noses. I didn't even do that. I, I was really simple. So, um, this is Flurry the Snowman, and you can use any weight yarn between fingering weight and worsted weight. Um, and I've got four different, um, four different hat patterns and four different scarf patterns going on with these little guys. I don't know how many snowmen I stuffed in my bag today. I've got my, did anybody get their bag for Black Friday? So I've been using mine. So here's another little guy. So cute. And I highly recommend using um, some type of fluff, like our alpaca fluff or Molo with these because it's just way too much fun to see them all fuzzy. So cute. I knit a lot of them. I knit a lot of these little guys. I love them. So this is coming out December 9th. I should probably not spend time like just I love it so much. Uh, but there, December 9th is coming out. So I am finishing up the pattern. The test hitters are finishing. They're giving me their feedback. And then it will be awesome. I haven't had anybody had have any issues with it, though, which is really nice. Everybody's done really well. And they, they said it's a really easy uh, pattern to knit. Uh, Trisha asked, is it hard to keep the stitches on such short needles? Do you like them more than the five inch needles? Oh, that's a good question. I was thinking the exact same thing. So she's talking about my socks. And Josephine said, I was looking at sugar, sugar plum this morning. I'm so tempted. Yes, sugar plum's the best. I love knitting on this colorway. So she was asking, so I bought the four inch needles, um, from Signature and I was, I thought I'd try out shorter needles. Um, and I really like them for going around and around and around. Um, but for the heel, it is like pretty, it's a lot of stitches. I can't actually spread the stitches out to see the pattern. Um, not that I have to, but it is a lot of stitches um, if you're doing a heel on a DPN. I actually almost pulled out the longer needle just for the heel. But it works fine. <clears throat> but you do have to be careful not to drop. Like when I'm getting it in and out, I'm like, oh, be careful. I've got like a million little stitch markers in here. So like don't. So I keep on squishing it before I put it back away. But no, on the on the rest of it, if you're splitting it, you know, um, amongst four needles, I think it's awesome. Like I would buy another pair to knit just socks or perhaps mittens um, or these little guys on uh, DPNs. So yeah, I would get them again. So I guess that that's my testimonial. I would totally get four inch DPNs again. I've never had them before ever. I've always had five inch. Um, and I really like them for sock knitting because it's not so much needle in my way, but it's enough to leverage um, and have like good 
what is it called ergonomics of knitting like I feel comfortable knitting my hands don't cramp or anything like that uh, de definitely feel like it's faster oh yeah because I you know just that I don't know it, what is it two seconds of like scooching your your stitches next to the needle I it's not that much scooching it's just start knitting and I can knit socks on DPNs without looking um and I can just keep going and going and going and yeah less adjusting where that's why I don't like magic loop now I totally knit socks magic loop because I do not have enough sets of DPNs okay um but I like DPNs because I don't have to adjust. I can just keep going and keep going. Whereas Magic Loop, I have to like scooch the cord around. And uh, on DPNs, I don't have to. And on four inch DPNs, it's a very small amount of space. So I'm not scooching at all, um, which I really, really like. Yeah, DPNs are my favorite to knit socks for Trisha. Yeah, absolutely. And nine inch circulars, this question, I'm sure some of you guys are watching and you're gonna ask like nine inch circulars. I really like nine inch circulars when I am knitting <clears throat> in the car in the dark or in a movie theater in the dark because clumsy me, I am, I am a klutz. Okay. I am. I don't know how I have a yarn business. I am a total klutz. A good thing I'm this squishy. <laughs> um, but I like that because I will drop my DPN sometimes if I'm going too fast and in a movie theater, that's really awkward. Um, and in a car, it just sucks. Like it's not a good thing. And then I can't keep on knitting. So I switched to nine inch circulars when I'm knitting in the dark and just in the round and I'm going round and round. Otherwise I don't really use nine inch circulars just because, um, it's not as comfortable for my hands. Like if I knit an entire sock, like I go on a car ride, like let's say it's a four hour car trip. When I get done with that four hours, I can't really knit for a while because my hands hurt. So, you know. Um, Jen said, recently tried a 10 inch circuit. I'm going to guess that's circular. And really gave mm -hmm. it a good try and it caused a lot of pain in my hands. So I switched to Magic Loop. Yeah, you really have to be like loose with your hands on the nine inch or 10 inch circulars and um, knit with your, your fingers. That's how I feel. And I am a looser knitter when I knit with nine inch circulars. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know what the answer is. I, I use all of the techniques for sock knitting. Yeah, rat, relax your hands. Yeah, relax your hands. Um, I use all of them, but DPNs, I learned how to knit on DPNs. My very first sock, uh, my very first project that I ever knit was a sock on DPNs. And I guess I just keep on, I always just gravitate back toward it. Josephine said, and Josephine, you're a, you're a big sock knitter. She says, uh, I cannot knit on nine inch. My hands hurt I'm too old. Like, DPNs, which is what I started on in the 80s, never have done Magic Loop. Yeah. Hi, Diane. Yeah, I have, I, yeah, that's what I started on. I like DPNs, and uh, that's what I've stuck with. Yeah, that's what I stuck with. So, um, and I like it. I do all of them, but I like it. Um, so I hope that helps. Am I, am I yelling? My ears are plugged. So I don't know if I'm yelling or not. I'm already a loud person, and now I feel like I'm screaming. <laughs> okay, so we've got all of that. So, yeah, you're literally seeing, like, real-life Lauren. Like, no makeup uh, in my sweatshirt, my hair. It looks like I didn't brush it. I totally brushed my hair today. I don't know what happened. So, but this is what happens when you have a cold and you still have to go to work. Um, this little guy, I wanted to mention this again, just for, um, gift knits. I matched the hat on my Flurry the Snowman with a Doolittle hat that I knit. Doolittle hat is one of my patterns. Um, and I think that this is a really, really cute gift idea for kids. So if you want to match their little guy and their hat, I love it. Okay, uh, Thanksgiving cast on. We all are knitting the dock socks. This is a pattern that Jocelyn Peters designed. She 
designs exclusively for Lolo did it. It's awesome. I absolutely love her patterns. They're always so well written and very thoughtful. Um, the, this sock is designed with fingering weight and DK weight. Um, so you can choose both. And we this is on sale until midnight tonight. So if you are watching this YouTube, you can use coupon code Thanksgiving Cast On to get 40% off of this pattern. And then it's not on sale anymore after midnight. Um, and if you are participating on our Thanksgiving Cast On, it ends tonight. So you need to cast on by the end of the day. Post a photo and you are entered into the giveaway. So um, that's all on Instagram. And then um, I also have it going on in the community, but it lasts a little bit longer in the community. So if you are in the Lolo Did It community and you're, you've cast on, you've posted on Instagram, you're good. You're entered for prizes, but we'll still have prizes in the community too. So um, that is Doc Socks. Everybody, lots of people cast these on. This has been fun. And I do have the kits for these. Um, I have some sock sets on sale, I mean, uh, in stock, but the kits I know we're still dying for. Um, so if that if you wanted to get a kit, you can. This is Linden Tree, which is a new fall colorway. Rumple Stiltskin is the heel. And then this is Prince, which I know we have in stock. Prince. And um, this is the Dowager Countess, which I don't think I have any on the shop anymore. I think that that sold out but I do have it available in kits. So really fun. Um, so thanks Jocelyn for a really beautiful pattern. It's amazing. Diane joined us. Kelly said, hi Diane, that's awesome. Um, the other thing that I did is yesterday I put on sale the Diamonds and Snow sweater pattern, which is basically ornament sized sweaters. I could not for the life of me find my colorful ones, but I did find these because I had these in a pile to like ship back to Jocelyn. This is her design. And yeah, I've kept them for a year and I'm supposed to like ship them back. Um, but these are really, really cute and they're perfect for little ornaments. And they also, funnily enough, we found this out after the sweater pattern like came out. But um, it fits the Elf on the Shelf perfectly. So if you are an Elf on the Shelf person, um, these sweater patterns fit them. So these are on sale using coupon code Tiny Sweater, um, all one word, caps. And um, they're on sale today. I think it's through the 30th. I'm pretty sure. Check, check my posts or the newsletter or the community. I've posted it everywhere. Um, but Tiny Sweater is the coupon code for diamonds in snow. I dug my tiny sweater pattern out yesterday. I loved making them the last year. Yeah, they're so fun. They're so cute. I have four that are on little baby doll hangers that um, last year I, put, I hung like on the mantle and I gotta get my Christmas box out because I'm pretty sure they're in my Christmas box but I haven't decorated yet. So, so cute. So these are on sale. This pattern is on sale. Diamonds and Snow. Um, winner from last week's YouTube. So last week I said if you comment below letting me know what you like about knitting socks, your favorite technique or anything, I would draw for a winner and that winner could choose any sock set that is on my shop. And the winner is Melissa Esquibel. E-S-Q-U-I-B-E-L. Melissa if you are watching, you are the winner. So you need to email me at contact at lolodidit.com and I will ship you the sock set of your choice. You just need to go onto my website and pick out which sock set you want. So thank you so much for everybody who participated and commented. The more comments, the more likes, the more thumbs up and the more subscribes really does help out my channel and um, helps get the word out that we're dying yarn over here in Kentucky for you. So um, all of that support really helps and I'm so thankful for all of you guys who participated. So thank you guys so much. My voice is going. I don't know if we're going to get to this, uh, the exclusive members YouTube with me still having a voice. So we'll figure that out. Um, I did put up new kits on the shop. So I don't know if you guys are fans of the crazy sock lady, Kay Litton. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Crazy sock lady. You guys know who she is, right? Um, so I'm a fan. I have been watching your podcast for forever. Um, I like 
all of her stuff that she posts. I don't know. I like all of it. But she designed these really cute socks called the Candy Cane Stripe Socks. Let me actually pull up a picture on my phone. They are so cute. Um, I will get a picture. Here we go. Oh, no. That is a video. Here we go. Look at that. So cute. So I made kits. I couldn't help myself. I thought these were really cute. I would totally knit them. So I made kits for those. And I just put them on my shop like five minutes before the YouTube video, um, the YouTube live. So those are on my shop if that's something that you want to get. Um, I have three different. I love it. I know, Trisha. It's so cute. I want to knit it. I was like, this is so clever. Um, so I put up three different kits. One is super Christmassy. One it looks kind of like her sample. And another one is just like a lot of bright colors that I like. So I did three kits. And I thought that you guys would enjoy that too. If you are fans of her podcast, um, I very much enjoy it. Um, she knits way more than me. And so I like watching, getting some inspiration and all that. Yeah, super cute. Um, I told you already, but if you guys are joining in or joined in late, I put our Christmas boxes back on the shop, but just the yarn only. So three skeins of the main colors of the yarn that are in the Christmas boxes. It won't be shipped in a box. It'll be shipped in a cute little package. And I put those on the shop. They're, there's limited quantities, and it also won't be on the shop for very long because I got to ship them by December 16th. All of the Christmas boxes will ship first. So if you ordered a Christmas box, those will all ship first. And then I'll start shipping the yarn only. But if you missed out, it's a good opportunity to get um, the yarn anyways and join in and have fun with us. Um, and it's a, a, it's a little bit lower price point because it's just three skeins of yarn. So I'm not putting in any of the goodies or the packaging and all of that stuff. Um, and I also put up... So I let our... Um, Josephine said, I did cave on those this morning, the Christmas yarn. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, the Christmas box yarn. It's stunning. I love these kits so much. Um, now that I have them, like everything's cohesive and dyed and named and tagged and everything, I adore these kits. Like I'm having so much fun with them. And I love seeing them and they look so pretty and their boxes and all this stuff. So um, that has been really, really fun. So if you like subdued traditional Christmas tones, Harry Potter's for you, the, the Hogwarts Christmas one. Um, if you like bright, not Christmas colors at all, more like Halloween colors, uh, then the Nightmare Before Christmas is for you. That it's they are a hundred percent completely opposite. So the Hogwarts Christmas is like subdued, rich, um, traditional tones, not necessarily Christmas, but like jewel tones. Um, and then the um, Nightmare Before Christmas is really fun. <laughs> You'll like it. Yeah, it's really, really, really fun. Um, if you're a fan of Tim Burton, I think that you will see our inspiration for it. It's it's awesome. So you guys will like both of them, I think, if you like those, those movies. So, and then the other thing is I told just, so if you guys ever want to know why you would join our paid for low loaded community on Mighty Networks, um, I tell them stuff first. So if there are limited quantities of things, I tell them first. Um, and oh, I think everybody who is like watching is actually like one of you guys um, that I see your comments. But the Lolo Did It community is awesome. But I tell them stuff first. The, the Valentine's Day box I just put on the shop. So I did a romantic and light Valentine's Day and then like anti-Valentine's, which is moody and dark. And I did two boxes. I've got... Um, goodies in there from Simply Serving. She makes those polymer clay and little charms and things like that. And then Fox and Pine Stitches, um, they're making a little goodie for us too. So that is going in the Valentine's Day boxes. So if you missed out on, hi Carrie, if you missed out on Christmas boxes or if your husband really stinks at getting you the right 
uh, present for Valentine's Day, you're like, honey, I want yarn. I don't want chocolate. This is the box for you. This is it. This is the Valentine's Day box. So it's going to be up uh, now until I sell out. They are limited quantities because I already bought the stuff from Simply Serving and Fox and Pine Studios. So it is a limited quantity. When they sell out, they sell out. And that's it. You got the DK Valentine's box. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. I love the colors for it. I love the goodies for it. Um, and you guys will really enjoy it. So that will ship at the very, very end of January, beginning of February. So you'll have it in time for the special day of Valentine's Day. So we just put those on the shop and I'm sure that they'll sell out. I don't have a ton of those kits. Um, so check them out. And if you want romantic and light, we got you. And if you want dark and moody, we got you. So that's awesome. Okay, three new colorways are coming out on the shop. Um, Santa's Workshop. So pretty. I love this color. Can you see that? You can see all of the specs. So this is Santa's Workshop. This is You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Really pretty. And then this one is Vintage E. It's, it's Sleigh Ride. Really, really, really pretty. So I am having a ready to ship. I know, I like, I don't do this. But I'm going to have a ready to ship shop update on Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern time for these three colors. So they will be ready to ship on certain yarn bases. Um, and then I will also have them die to order if you want to order different yarn bases. But they will be ready to ship. What's nice about that is if you order on Monday, we'll process your order on Tuesday. So it'll ship out right away because I know these are Christmas colors. So if you want to get those, shop the ready to ship um, shop update on Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, sleigh ride, and Santa's workshop. Really, really pretty. I want to knit all of these. And if you don't see the yarn base or quantities that you're looking for, you can always order anything that we're currently dying that you see, um, uh, new on the shop, there is a listing that will allow you to purchase a die to order. So um, you can order them. It'll say DTO in the listing and you can order those. Um, so don't, don't hesitate. Like if you're, if you're like, oh shoot, die to order. Well, we'll, we'll die them right away and ship them out. Um, we don't take very long. If you order on a weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a die to order only takes two business days longer than a ready to ship. If you order on Monday afternoon, Mondays is when we dye the dye to order colorways. So if you order on Monday afternoon, that is the longest you will wait for it to ship. And that is, you'll wait basically Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You'll wait 10 days. That is the longest you will wait for your um, die to order to ship is if you order Monday after we've already processed the orders for die to order. So it's a really, really fast shipping. So don't be afraid to order it. Um, but I'll have a, a ready to ship shop update on Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. Thanks, Diane. So I think that's it. That's everything that's going on in the shop. You guys get to know about it. And I am now heading over to the members only part of the podcast, which is on our mighty networks in the paid for community. So if you are a part of that, go hop over there and I will join you in a few minutes. And thank you all so much here on YouTube for joining me. Um, I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I will talk to you soon. Love you all. Bye.